Hi, this is Dan Slott, writer of Amazing Spider-Man. Actually, the writer of the last ever issue of Amazing Spider-Man, Spider-Man 700. It's all over. But in the meantime, here's The Watcher. And if you're not watching The Watcher, then you best have an excuse. The Watcher, yeah, it's always watching you. As that New Year's Eve ball drops, we welcome a new year and lots of new Marvel now. Marvel.com sat down with Jonathan Hickman to talk New Avengers last week and he dropped a big hint at big news saying, New Avengers will be the most important book in the Marvel Universe for the next couple of years. A lot of stuff happening in New Avengers is happening in broad daylight. And all of these big stories and big stuff and big moments are happening. But underneath it all is all the stuff that is happening in New Avengers and it just slowly bubbles to the top. Ooh, bubbly, that sounds good. Well, we can look forward to more with Jonathan Hickman talking on New Avengers next week and you can pick up the book on January 2nd. Loving Cable and X-Force? Check out a member-by-member -member look at Cable and his X-Force with writer Dennis Hopeless taking a deeper analysis of Cable, Domino, Colossus, Dr. Nemesis, and Forge. Also, keep an eye out for our three-part examination of Morbius with writer Joe Keating, who pens the new Morbius, The Living Vampire ongoing series coming in January, as well as Spider-Man 699.1, which serves as a zero issue for the title. And speaking of Spider-Man, I cannot remind you guys enough, Amazing Spider-Man number 700 hits December 26th, which ends the 50-year run on this title. In the new year, Spider-Man will return with an all-new title, and Amazing Spider-Man writer Dan Slott has already said don't expect to see Peter Parker at the helm. In an interview with Marvel.com, Slott said, Passions run high and fast, and I expect message boards to be consumed with flames as all of this stuff goes down. But at the same time, I feel that once 700 is over and when Superior launches, I think a lot of people are going to walk into this and go, what have they done? But when they get to the end of Superior Spider-Man number one, there will be a moment of, oh, and then it'll be safe for me to poke my head out and to walk the streets again. Well, we certainly hope so, Dan. Look out for Superior Spider-Man with Dan Slott, with art by Ryan Stegman coming in January. What do you guys think about Amazing Spider-Man, Morbius, and Cable's new X-Force? Tell me down below. As the year comes to a close, we here at Marvel experience so many exciting things, and so here are our top 10 highlights of 2012. Number 10, Carol Danvers has taken on a much deserved rank of Captain along with her new title, Captain Marvel, brought to us by the expert hand of fellow lady writer, Kelly Sudakonic. Ultimate Comics Captain America was voted president by write-in vote in Ultimate Comics The Ultimates, much to everybody's surprise, especially the Caps. What's so awesome about this is it's the Ultimate Universe and anything can happen and Captain America can even be President America? Number eight, Marvel Revolution brought us the birth of Marvel Infinite Comics, an all new way to read comics in the digital realm that enhances the reader's experience in a new and inventive way. These comics are available on the Marvel Comics app and they're really awesome. They have all kinds of movement and detail. You should definitely check them out if you haven't already. Marvel Gaming stormed mobile and social media this year with Avengers Initiative and Marvel Avengers Alliance as we launched the Marvel Gaming Universe, all brought together by Marvel XP, where you can link all these games together and play online with your friends through Facebook. Super fun times. Goes and lives! Whee! New York Comic Con goers were thrilled to hear the announcement that actor Clark Gregg will be reprising his role as Agent Phil Coulson in Joss Whedon's new Marvel's Shield television pilot, which we hope to hear more details on in the new year. This year, Marvel's first self-produced animated series, Ultimate Spider-Man, joined an entire Marvel Universe block on Disney XD, including Ultimate Spider-Man, The Avengers, Earth's Mightiest Heroes, Marvel Mashup, and other interstitial programming, which means stuff in between stuff. The Avengers squared off against the X-Men in AVX, making everybody in the Marvel Universe and Marvel fandom choose a side. This event has shaken the very core of the Marvel world, where we're gonna see repercussions of this just for years to come, including the loss of our own Professor X, who is gonna be so sorely missed. Sad times, you guys. Sorry, bummer.
Hulk, Thor, and Spider-Man all celebrated their 50th birthdays this year, and boy, they look pretty darn good for their age. And also, we set a world record for the most signatures on a greeting card over New York Comic Con on Spidey's birthday. Aw, you guys. We launched Marvel Now this October, relaunching titles with new creative teams on all new number ones, but not a reboot. All along with Marvel Now, there is all kinds of additional content available in every Marvel Now book using the Marvel AR app, changing the face and the pages of comics as we know them. Number one, Marvel's The Avengers hit the big screen breaking box office records to become one of the highest grossing films of all times. We've been waiting for it for ages with Iron Man and Thor and everybody getting their own movies and all of the Avengers finally came together for the biggest movie of the season. And at the end, big spoiler, who's looking forward to next year? And now it's time for What If, where we ask ourselves that eternal question. What if? We say goodbye to Amazing Spider-Man and welcome a superior Spider-Man in the new year. But who would you most like to see don the mask and fly high as our favorite wall crawler, if not Peter Parker? Be sure to tell me what you think down below in the comments section in your comment might just be watched on The Watcher. And special thanks to everybody who answered my question last week about who you'd like to see Ultron face off against. The overwhelming majority of you wanted to see him square off against his own old man vision. I suppose it's cheaper than therapy. And special shout out to YouTube commenter Yamil, I hope I said that right, who said Ultron versus the Phalanx. Ultron, a being who takes over machines versus a race of people who take over machines. Can you say epic throwdown? Smiley. <laughs> Got any burning Marvel questions? Show me your tweets, send me your questions, comments, and spider fanship on Twitter at Lorraine Sink. And don't forget to play this week's hashtag game with me by telling me what has been your favorite Spider-Man memory and hashtagging Spider-Fan. See you in 2013, true believers. Happy holidays! I'm Lorraine Sink for Marvel, your universe. And if you're not watching The Watcher, then you best have an excuse. The Watcher, yeah, it's always watching you. Jimmy Woo, John Man, and the Frost and Marvel, your universe.